Woohoo! I exited through that Poke Center again. Uh, yeah, for a second there I thought I didn't actually help my Pokemon. I was strategizing for the walkthrough. Uh, anyway, this next... It, it's a really, really, really long road to the next city. With lots and lots of trainers, so... Prepare yourself. Absolutely horrible. I'll never understand what happened in that battle. Anyway, up here is a place called the Trainer Hill. It has a Poke Center, a Pokemart, all in one. And it also, later after you beat the Elite Four, you can take part in, like, racing on the trainer hill or something. To be bluntly honest, this place has never made an ounce of sense to me. So, that's kind of just the, like, I think it was a waste of time putting this in the game. But, you could get some rewards, but like I said, that's after the Elite Four. Anyway, over here we have another double battle. <laughs> You're two feet away from a city, you know. Uh, let's see, grab that there. This guy will talk about the Winstrate family and how they destroyed him. They destroyed him then. These people are absolutely no match for me at all. Uh, it's four battles in a row, so be prepared. A long stroke, straight stroke, stroke, blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> wow, I really jumbled that one up. Uh, if you come in the house, they'll talk about. Ooh, interesting. Their son. Hmm, interesting. I think if he was the champion, they would know. Uh, anyway, the mother of the house will give you a macho brace. Much, much, macho. And it halves your Pokemon's speed. However, it doubles the amount of EVs you gain, which gets in the competitive battle, but it is quite useful, so... It's always good to keep in mind. It's really good if you start getting the competitive training. Uh, you do need Rock Smash to progress, so make sure you have it on you. 
And then... Okay, that's great. Over here we have Gabby and Gabby and Gabby and Gabby and Gabby because she likes to gab. The gift of the gab. Woohoo! Uh, these two go around interviewing everyone, so if you want, you could take, uh, you could inter give an interview and one word to describe the battle. Great. I'll tell you what I thought of it. I thought of a Wismar. Yeah. Whoa. So yeah, you'll see it on TV, and you'll see these two around a lot more, so don't think that's the last you've seen of them. That's kind of an obvious fact. <laughs> Disgustingly good. That's a very odd way to put it. Uh, okay. Never thought I'd use one of these things. Where is it? I don't have one of these things. Ooh. I don't have an awakening. Unless I missed it. I can't really see my screen that good. I'll tell you what I do have, though. I have a Chesto Berry. That works just as good. <laughs> tell me how it eats a berry when it's asleep. I really want to know. One of the many mysteries of Pokemon. Pep, 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 pep. Pep. Pep 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 Up here we have a desert with a vicious standstorm. It's impossible to keep going. How quaint. So that means we must go this way. Hurrah! Hurrah. Yeah, cry baby. Am I missing something new? I'm not missing something. Up these ledges here, you could be up in the next town, but it's like a one road one way path, so yeah, you kind of forget about it. <laughs> Spark used spark! It's super effective to the 10,000th power. Up this way, we are moving into hiker territory. How fun! However... Turn! Turn! Fine. <laughs> Up here, we have two evil, very dark Team Magma Grunts. Oh well, who cares about them? So they're blocking the cable car, so basically you can't get the Lava Ridge Town. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Come 
<laughs> he wants to register me. <laughs> uh, <laughs>